from Southern Maryland's Weather Leader. This is a JB Weather Report. Good Monday morning. I'm forecaster John Bordash with you in the JB Weather Center this morning, continuing to track what looks likely to be our first widespread accumulating snowfall in nearly two years for the Mid Atlantic. Early this morning, though, we did have our first round of snow move overhead, which brought a quick coating, a half an inch of snow for many areas along and south of Washington, D.C. And this definitely has caused some traffic problems across the region. Thankfully, it's a holiday, so there isn't much traffic out there. However, we're going to start to see things change as we head into our day on Tuesday. We do currently have a winter weather advisory in effect for the entire Mid-Atlantic, and that's going from just about now, right around 6 o'clock, moving all the way through 7 a.m. Tuesday morning. And these advisories do linger a little bit longer once you head north of the Baltimore area. And this is where we're likely going to be talking about at least a couple of inches of snow that falls throughout the night tonight going into Tuesday morning. Let's go ahead and take you on over to our Cedar Point Federal Credit Union future cast. And it spells the story out pretty decently. Any snow from this morning will begin to come to an end as we head towards the mid-morning hours. Midday clearing will be around, and then we start to see our next round of snow move in as we head towards the afternoon hours. Snow could start falling as early as 2 or 3 o'clock. However, we're going to need to see if we can get that dry air, dry air out of here as quickly as we would like to see for an accumulating snowfall. Snow will stick around throughout the evening hours, and while initially focused south, we'll start to focus northward as we head into the overnight hours. Snow looks likely to be widespread as we head towards the overnight hours, getting close to midnight. This model here shows some dry air starting to work into the system and maybe even a brief switch over to rain for extreme southern zones. The rain I'm not too sold on. That might be more like sleet, but the dry air is definitely going to need to be something we monitor across our region because we are going to be looking at cold temperatures. And those cold temperatures mean that we are much more prone to seeing dry slots develop throughout this system. Nevertheless, future cast shows that snow beginning to focus to the north as we head towards uh, the early morning hours on Tuesday, with any precip looking to get out of here as we head towards the Tuesday morning commute. This model definitely gets the precip out of here a little bit quicker. I have other models that like to linger the snow through Tuesday morning and not getting out of here until lunchtime on Tuesday. So if we were to spell all of this together, what I'm expecting, we're still on tap to see a widespread one to two inches of snow across much of the mid-Atlantic. Uh, two to four inches once you head north and west of I-95. That is where we could see some locally higher totals. And you'll see slightly lower totals the further south you head because you're going to be looking at a little bit more dry air. And again, you could be looking at some sleet mixing in from time to time. By and large, we're not talking about a lot of snow, right? We're talking modest totals, but this could lead to moderate impacts. Whatever falls is going to stick, which could lead to traffic issues, thanks in part to those marginal temperatures. Widespread snow sets the stage overnight tonight with lingering impacts going into tomorrow. And yes, this could definitely lead to widespread closures and delays for schools. I would expect many school districts to delay tomorrow with several school districts also probably opting for a close. Again, it's not the amount of snow. It's just the timing of the snow, and it's going to be difficult to get that one to three, maybe four inches of snow out of here in time for a safe commute into work or into school for your day on Tuesday. And those slick spots are likely to remain throughout the day. You're going to want to stay tuned to JV Weather for the latest information. I'll be in the Weather Center continuing to give you updates. And again, first widespread snowfall of the season looks likely across much of the Mid-Atlantic for the night tonight going on, going on over into Tuesday morning. I'm forecaster John Borner. Stay tuned to JV Weather for the latest information and have a nice and safe one out there. Check the forecast anytime online at jbweather.net.